Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Nailed it! <laughs> Today we're gonna do some more cooking. The thing we're gonna do is a kebab sauce. The kebab sauce exists in a lot of different kinds, I guess, but this is probably a Swedish recipe and that we use for our pizzas. This video was requested by Geeky Bee's husband who has been nagging about this recipe for a long time now. So I hope you're happy about this and uh, let's get into it. What you're gonna need for making this is gonna be sour cream, mayo, cream fraiche, one vitlöksklyfta, also known as garlic clift, garlic wedge, Clove? Clove. Garlic clove. We have some salt and some pepper. Some cayenne pepper. Some optional sambalolek. Sambalolek. And we have some chili sauce. And the secret ingredients for all of this that only this kind of sauce that I have found from another person uses is Fanta. So you can also use orange juice or another kind of orange soda i've heard but now we're gonna make the sauce i can also add that this is a cold sauce so you don't have to cook stuff or anything like that you're gonna stir up all the ingredients uh, together and then you're gonna let it rest in the, the fridge for a while and then it's done first off you're gonna want to use two deciliters of bread pile also known as sour cream that's gross Then go on to one deciliter of cream fresh. Three tablespoons of mayo. And half a deciliter of oh, Fanta. Half a tablespoon of chili sauce. Yeah, you can't use tools for everyone. Press one garlic wedge, or garlic uh, clover, clove. piece of garlic. We're adding a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of cay a little bit of cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. And the optional Sambal olive. Now we stir. And I realize at a start that this looks gross. When it all comes together, it'll be fine. Hello, everybody. Now the sauce is done and it could cool for about an hour, but you should taste it first to see that it's okay. And if you feel that you need to add more salt, more pepper or something like that, then you just go ahead and do so after your own taste. For me, I added some salt because it needed some more salt. And now it tastes much better. I just need to do after. Well, I have questions for you. Okay, Kat, what questions do you have for me? Is this better than the last one you made? This is much better than the last one I made. Would you recommend this recipe to a friend? I would recommend this recipe to a friend. And would you do it again? I will do it again. And why is there some sauce on my computer? Uh, thank you for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this short cooking video on how to make kebab sauce. If you made this sauce, then comment below and say how it tasted. Until next time, guys. I hope you have a funny... Funny sucking day. <laughs> You're not. What are you doing here? Go away. <laughs>